Hello, Prescale. I am Miss Klein's cousin. My name is Jacques. Has she told you about me yet? I love to do art projects. I live in France, so I don't come very often to your school. But she has been telling me all about you and your class. She says that you are going on a field trip Friday. <gasps> That's so exciting. To the pumpkin patch? I love the pumpkin patch. When she told me, I said, stop. I will teach them how to draw a pumpkin. Are you ready to draw a pumpkin? If you are, put your hand on your head. Okay, we are ready. I will show you what you need for this project and then we will get going. And you are going to be an artist after this, okay? The first thing you have in front of you is a black piece of paper. Then you will need some cotton swabs and you will need a yellow, a green, and a white piece of chalk. Do you have all those things? If you do, say yes. Okay, we are going to get started. Okay, I am going to move all of these things off to the side. We do not need these chalks yet. The only one we need is this white one. We are going to start by drawing the shape of a pumpkin. What is the shape of a pumpkin? Who can tell me? Oh, if you said circle, you are right. We're going to start by drawing a circle in the middle of our paper. Ready? Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to draw I find kind of the middle of the pumpkin and draw a line going this way. And I find the middle on the other side and draw a line going this way. Now we are going to draw the stem on our pumpkin. So, I go to the top of my pumpkin. Put your fingers there. Okay, that's the top of your pumpkin. I go to the top and I draw a line going up. You do that now. And then I go a little bit over and draw another line going up. And then... I draw a line from here to here to connect the stem like that. Beautiful! Next, I am going to draw four lines from the top to the bottom. How many lines am I going to draw? Four lines. How many lines are you going to draw? Four lines. So wait for me to do it first, so you can see how to do it, and then I will tell you to go, okay? Here we go. I will draw one line over here. One, two, three, four. How many lines did I draw? Four. Okay, now it's your turn. You go. Now, this is the fun part. We're going to take our white 
chalk and put it on the side. And I am going to get my orange chalk. This is the one we are going to use first. Okay. I am going to go on the outline of each of these little rectangles with my orange chalk. Watch this. Okay, now you try. Do you see how the middles are so black? Because I have two more chalk colors that I'm going to use. The next one is my green. And I'm going to come alongside of the orange with my green color, like this. Do you notice that I only do one swipe I don't keep coloring like this. Okay. And I still have a little bit of black in the middle. Okay? Now you go. Now I take my yellow shock and I fill in the black on the inside like this. Just like that. It does not have to be perfect. You can just put a little bit of chalk in there. It does not have to be a lot. Now you try. Okay, now I am going to take one of my Q-tips and I am going to mix the colors around like this. Kind of like I'm coloring.
Okay. Now I want you to try. The last thing we have to do is fill in the stem and the grass. So I take my green chalk and just color a little bit on the inside of your stem and then you can scribble color your grass. But do not color over your pumpkin. You do not want to get your beautiful piece of art all dirty. And then I'm going to take a little bit of yellow and do a zigzag very quick through my green grass and just a little bit on my stem. Okay, you try. And just like we did on our pumpkin, I'm going to take my cotton swab and I'm just going to spread my chalk around like this. And then I'm going to do the same to my grass. Here we go. Okay, now it's your turn, you try. Oh my gosh, didn't these just turn out so beautiful? I'm so sad I can't be there to see yours. Tell Miss Klein to take a picture and send it to me. I love, 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 love to see your artwork because you are all such great artists. God made you that way. We can find beauty in everything, even at the pumpkin patch. So maybe when you go on Friday, you can look at your pumpkin and see if it looks like this when you get home. I don't know. This pumpkin looks like it's there in the night time. Maybe. Well, I cannot wait to see your art. And I'm so glad that you came and joined me today for Art Wish Jacques. Bye-bye.